am Rachel Starr. I'm a 22-year-old female schizophrenic. I go to college. I, I work. Hey, I'm Rachel Starr, and I'm about to take you on the journey with me through me getting electroconvulsive therapy. Usually, you put someone through ECT after they have not responded to medication, and no medication I've been on the past two years has helped me with my depression. And I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm, I hope it works. I'm a little scared. Um, it's not what people think. Uh, what happens is they put a little bit of electricity will go right through the middle of my brain right here, and that will cause me to have a seizure, and it's the seizure that helps, not the electricity. So, uh, night before we start the electroshock therapy, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Uh, the main side effect of electroshock therapy is, um, memory loss. I uh, just had electroshock therapy today. My hands are all bruised from where they tried to keep sticking me for the IVs because I couldn't get a good vein. Um, this has been my first day. I really had trouble with memory. Uh, just forgetting everything. Kind of had to go through my life in my head. Everything feels very like far away kind of. Update on um, my schizophrenia, my ECT treatments, just pretty much everything. Uh, it's, it's been rough. It's been almost like a year and a half since having my electroconvulsive therapy. Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. Um, wanted to hit on a topic today that, I don't know why it's been coming up a lot, but whatever, uh, is demon possession. If you're a schizo or any type of mental disorder, you are in control of you. Okay? You. There's no one else in there. Alright? You got this. And don't ever let anyone tell you different. That's, that's insane sick me. That's, that's what, that's how my brain's telling me. And I've still had her. I think about her at least once a day. Uh, the vision, vision, the vision, the um, image comes into my mind if I don't fully hallucinate it. Um, I definitely, it's something that's there. And um, I've never been scared since. It just kind of was something I accepted. And a lot of the ways I feel that with, um, my monsters that I see, like they just one day stop being scary. I just kind of accepted, hey, scary isn't always bad. First of all, let me explain the difference between a hallucination and a delusion because a lot of people um, get confused about those two things and confuse them. So if like right now I suddenly saw a pink elephant like fly around the room, all right, that would be a hallucination. Now, a delusion is when you believe like a belief, um, that might be not not true. So for instance, if I believe, let's say the CIA is out to kill me and has my entire house bugged. It's, it's not like you can just tell them. You can't rationalize with them. You can't rationalize with someone who but believes something like that. Um, the best way for me to describe is it's like driving a car, except you're the car. So like when I drive a car, I'm completely in control of it. Okay, I control left, right, faster, slower, but I'm not the car. Um, at no point do I think, whoa, I'm this car, right? Like, like when you drive. So I think depersonalization is a lot like that. It's like you're in control of this body, but I don't know. You, there's still a, this disconnection from it. It's weird. It's like when someone has depression or other mental disorders, it literally is like there's this button um, or switch inside of our heads that it's like a self-destruct switch. And for no reason, it should ever be hit. And for some reason, certain people with mental disorders, it's like our switch gets flipped. And then it's like your body kind of goes into this self-destruct mode where all you can think about, all you can feel is, you know, the desire to hurt yourself and end your life and learn to recognize the signs. When you start thinking thoughts that, you know, identify them, if they're thoughts like you think that you're worthless, you're not. Um, the world would be better off without you, it wouldn't be. Um, just really anything, whatever your trigger thoughts are, it's going to be hard and you might have to take measures to protect yourself. Um, but even as a kid, I was never really bullied by anyone but myself and we are our own worst bullies. So you need to stop your mind from thinking. Whenever you start to think negative thoughts and someone the other day was like, well I always try and think positive. I'm like, no, it's not about thinking positive, okay? It's not about telling yourself good things. It's about stopping the bad stuff. All right, you look in the mirror, you don't like what you see. No, don't start telling yourself you're fat. Don't start telling yourself you're ugly. My nose is too big. My hair is too 
dry, my, my skin is too broken out, my blah blah blah. Stop it. Okay? Be like, no. Don't allow yourself to think those thoughts. Stop them in their tracks and acknowledge that you're stopping them. Don't just let you, don't just let your mind just tear you down. Okay? Anyways, let's start off here with a pretty common one. What is a schizophrenic? So, um, basically I'm gonna give you the quick version. I have a mental disorder. That means my brain thinks differently, as does other people with mental disorders. Um, it's nothing like what you've seen in the movies or TV shows. It just means pretty much disorder means things not in order. So, mentally my brain doesn't work the same way as, let's say, a normal person. That's all it is. Oh, look, if you're out there and you're like, you know, I get people message me a lot like they're scared to, you know, go to a mental hospital. They're scared to, to talk to the doctors and stuff. No. All right. It sucks. And yes, it's scary. And it's okay to be scared. All right. But it's also really, really brave. And the fact that you're either, I mean, you're just now starting to entertain that idea while it's frightening and stuff. That is a big step. Keep moving towards those steps. Figure out what it is you need to do to get to where you want to be. Desires slash feelings to want to hurt myself. You know, I, I feel like I was just so messed up for having that. And the thing is, if, if you're like me um, and you have depression and um, suicidal thoughts and things like that, that's not bad. It's not ideal, <laughs> but it's not bad. You're not broken because you have that. Um, it's okay. It's okay that those thoughts enter your head. It's okay that you're depressed and that at this moment in time, like things are looking really bad. It's okay to have that. It's not okay is acting upon them.